great game. Um, very, very proud of of the effort. Uh, I'm proud of our resiliency. I'm proud of how many kids played so many minutes and really, really contributed. Um, you know, looking at these numbers, I just I see a lot of a lot of good things. Um, I felt like there in the first half we were we were a little timid offensively. We were a little passive, which led to some turnovers and some not you know not great looks out of our offense. We talked a little bit about it at halftime and we made some adjustments. Took care of the basketball in the second half. We were much more aggressive defensively. We attacked the rim, and then you know we win the second half, but just came up a little bit short. But very very proud of of our group against a good Indiana basketball team. Absolutely. I, I love this basketball team for the fact that we have so many different pieces. You know, every time it seems like we go to the bench, the bench takes the energy level to another level. And yeah, I mean, we're playing three freshmen a lot of minutes, sophomores out there a lot of minutes. Um, it bodes well. Now, y you know, it, it means at times we're going to be up and then we're going to be down. But you know, this is two straight close games, you know, and then we had the good game against Kent State where they're getting a lot of experience, which is going to bode well for Sunday against Western Michigan, but really when we get into conference in January. Well, our, our, goal, our goal was to try to get this game in the 80s. That was our goal. We felt like if we get this game really moving and we get in the 80s, then we have a great chance of winning the game. Early on, it wasn't the case. We were just, we were just too passive. Then the second half, you know, we really kicked it in. And we were led by our bench. We went to the bench, and we had a couple freshmen who really, really stepped up. And, you know, that's exciting. So, you know, to, to be able to, to go back and forth w with Indiana, you know, we'll, we'll watch the film. We'll take a couple days off. You know, this has been a long stretch for us. We'll take a couple days off, and then we'll get back Friday and watch the film and, and really learn from it. Break it down and learn from it and get better. Yeah, I think um, once Cam got her fourth foul, everybody realized that they're really going to have to step up, and myself included. And in order for us to do that, Coach Paul talks about it all the time, it starts with defense. So because um, Cam got in foul trouble, all of us kind of stepped up, starting on defense, and then it led to our offense. Well, it really does because – you know, Cam's our leading scorer, and she makes us go. So when she got her fourth and had to go to the bench, I mean, you're relying on, you know, we brought in a couple freshmen on the wing. You bring in Peyton Fowles, you bring in DeJore Young, and that energy level really changed, and they had great second halves. You know, Rachel Reinhardt is playing on a very, very bad ankle, and she gutted it out and gave us a great 20 minutes. Courtney Ogle in the second half. Selena Lozada I didn't really take out in the second half because she was battling in there. So it's nice to see all the pieces coming together, and it's nice to see that when somebody gets in foul trouble, we can go someplace else and really keep the level going or take that level up a little bit. Well, in the third quarter, what we did was, you know, we just started being more aggressive. We just started being more aggressive on the offensive glass. You know, we, we talked about, okay, if we're going to miss shots, then we ought to get in there. You get a second chance, you get a third chance. And then it became contagious that, okay, we see what happens. We sneak in there, we get one. And then I think there was a possession there in the second half where we had three offensive rebounds, and then we end up scoring out of it. And they kind of fed off of it. So, you know, I think that the biggest change that we made being aggressive was by – by going to the glass and creating second and third chances. Yeah, w w what it tells me is we know we've got a good team. You know, we know we've got a good team. We, we, the, the system's in place. We're, we're going to play this style. We're going to play a lot of people. We're going to be aggressive. The kids have bought into it. They like to play this way. And I'm going to say the same thing I said a few weeks ago. This is not the same team you're going to see in January, February, or March. I mean, these young kids are going to get better and better and better, and I'm excited about where it's going. I mean, I need a couple of days off just like they do, but I'll be excited to get back in Friday and play again on Sunday. Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously I think Cam can agree. We'd rather have um, close games like this and games where we're going to learn something than almost blowing teams out by 40 or 30 or whatever. Because um, like we said, we learned a lot from it, and um, – so it'll really help us in conference when the game gets down to the end and it's close. We know what we can do and what we need to do to get a win.